The state will run its own audit of the 2020 election in four large Texas counties rather than hiring a private contractor. That is just one of the new details we're learning about today in the audit announced last week. It's after President, former President Donald Trump asked Governor Greg Abbott to do one. KXAN's Monica Madden tells us more about how it will be run and criticism that it's already getting. Donald Trump won the state of Texas. We know regardless of the outcome of these audits, Donald Trump will still have won the state of Texas. Unlike five other states that conducted 2020 election audits to scrutinize a Joe Biden win, Texas forges ahead with an audit for select counties, Harris, Dallas, Tarrant, and Collin, where there were mixed results. I don't see why people would be nervous or upset that we're going to audit these elections. If, if it, it turns out that there was no fraud, been great. Texas will also be the only state not using a third party contractor, which generated controversy for states like Arizona, where a months long hand recount confirmed the election's original outcome. It was not stolen and there was no widespread fraud. There's no merit, but it's part of a broader scheme to undermine democracy. Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins says the audit panders to a loud minority, but will have lasting consequences. A basic tenet of democracy is people have to believe in free and fair elections. And for people to knowingly undermine democracy by calling into question free and fair elections, it erodes people's trust in our American democracy. Even top Texas officials called last November's election smooth and secure. We've heard from the Secretary of State and election judges that they do run smoothly. Phase one of the audit will test voting machines and look for any ineligible voters. Phase two includes a records examination, but that isn't expected to happen until next year. Any major irregularities could trigger a manual recount. Monica Madden, KXAN News. And you might be wondering what the difference is between this audit and the normal canvassing officials do after the elections. Well, canvassing just confirms every ballot cast was counted, whereas an audit looks at if ballots were cast properly.